We have a question from Pierre. I'm a 40 year old male and my main goal is to feel good and stay healthy as I age. And that's good. I strength train year round, mostly with kettlebells. Most recently have been doing park bench four to five times a week. I supplement this with yoga once or twice a week and long daily walks. Okay, Pierre, you just gave us the perfect program. You're fine. Our summer up here in Canada is rather short. When it comes, I just want to get outside on my bike and ride. I agree 100% with that. I've started using Maffy Tones aerobic training, that is near daily long bike rides, 15 minute warm up, then ride in 140 heartbeats per minute for a while, uh, then 15 minute cool down, extra long ride once a week, two rides in a day once a week. It's been a ton of fun. In his book, he mentions to do this for a few months with no anaerobic or strength training to build the base. You know, that's true, but if you've read his more recent work, he's not so um, against weightlifting. He was trying, I, I don't want to speak for him because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, but let's keep going. I'd rather not lose the strength I've built up for the rest of your, particularly my push ups and loaded carries, but I'm having trouble finding the time for strength with all this bike riding. I like the idea that you want to keep your strength levels up, but you, you, if you're going to ride the bike that much and you just simply don't have the time to strength train, let's, I would suggest dropping the strength training out during the summer months while you have the opportunity to ride your bike so much. Your strength can come right back, Pierre. Uh, it'll come right back, especially at your age, your, your youth. Uh, is there any value in short five to 10 minute strength workouts post ride and how would you structure them? Alternatively, I, I, I could do one to two park bench workouts a week. Stick to yoga for a few months to tackle mobility. How would you play this? I plan to return four to five strength workouts a week once the weather turns sour. The best thing I would do is if you can do the two park bench workouts a week where you push, pull, squat, hinge, loaded carry, bye bye If you can. if Now, I think you want to do the yoga uh because well, of all the bike riding, you know, you tend to get a little bit down here like this as when you when you do all that bike riding. Um, the combination of a park bench workout once or twice a week with a little bit of yoga might really prevent some of the issues that you see with long distance bike riders. Um, you, you have to make compromises. This this is you're managing compromises right now. Um, personally, I like it when we just manage options. Um, manage options. There's three discus throwing techniques, okay? The Utah State, the East German, and the linear. Pick one. <laughs> that's, that's options. Compromise is what you're trying to do here. I want to ride the bike a lot, but I can't strength train. And so you, and what I would rather you do right now is slide your managing compromises concept into managing options. And I would just say, now, Pierre, you ride the bike a lot. Couple months from now, four to five days a week of strength training. Sprinkle a little bit of strength training now as appropriate and don't worry about it. You're doing fine and your strength will come right back. That's a good question. Thanks for asking.